Hacker. Hi guys, please subscribe to this channel and like the video to support my project. And we are starting a new adventure. If you have been to Rome, you have uh, definitely seen the huge white building next to Piazza Venezia. This is a monument honoring Italy's first king, Vittoria Emanuele II. It's also called Altara della Patria or Altar of the Fatherland. The monument uh, commemorates the unification of Italy in 1861 and Vittorio Emanuele II, the first king of Italy. Also, this monument was uh, built in his honor. Vittorio Emanuele II is not buried here. He's uh, buried in the Pantheon. This building was built between 1895 and 1911. It was decided to choose the project by Giuseppe Saconti. The project was modified several times. The monument immediately received unflattering nicknames, including those of typewriter and wedding cake. To free space for the monument, medieval and Renaissance quarters were demolished on the territory of the Capitolini Hill, including the towers of uh, Paul the Fourth and uh, the monastery Aracoeli. The Palazzo Venezia and the Church of Santa Rita were moved and rebuilt. A small building uh, to the right of uh, the Vittoriano, at uh, the foot of uh, the steps uh, leading to the Capitol, is uh, the remains of the old medieval buildings. The works were considered completed only in 1935, but the monument was inaugurated in 1911, still unfinished during the International Exposition for the 50th anniversary of the unification of Italy. On that occasion, it was unveiled the huge equestrian statue in a gilded bronze dedicated to Vittorio Emanuele II. It was realized that these uh, 50 tons of bronze obtained by melting the army guns is uh, 10 meters long and uh, 12 meters high. The statue of the king is also impressive. His mustache is one meter long each. Inside the building is located the Museum of Italian Reunification and also the Institute of Italian Reunification. Here is uh, the memorial to the First World War. In uh, the museum it's also possible to see weapons, flags and other objects related to reunification of Italy.
In the building there are also exhibition halls. In the time of my visit there was a representative for the exhibition Rome Silent Beauty. It's a beautiful trip through the Eternal City.
This is all for today. I thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And see you in the new interesting places.